Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to continue in building our material. So in this video, you can see that I've made just a few changes between uh, the two videos and th there's nothing much here. All I've done is I have imported the textures I'm going to use, that is two normal maps for the waves and a displacement. And I have also created a new function um, and I've also modified slightly the first function. So if we just open up the first function we created in the first video, the only changes I've made here is just the names. So this node here has been called texture2d. This node here has been called time. And this one up here has, uh, has been called uh, texture map tile. And all I've done is I've right click on I've right right clicked on this and I've gone ahead and choose duplicate and then just rename this with the prefix of underscore normal map and I've opened this up and all I've done here is set each one of these texture samples to the normal preset here. So this is a normal, this is a normal, this one is normal, and also this one is a normal. Now, I've gone ahead and created just the very basic material here. There's nothing um, that you shouldn't be able to do here. All I've done is I've created a linear interpolate. So if I just hold the L key and left click, we can create a linear interpolate. I've got two constant three vectors. So if I press and hold the three key, I can create a vector here and I can go ahead and choose the color. So I, I've done that and I've gone ahead and give them names. So this one's called watercolor and this one's called uh, water finale color. So we can connect this up here and what I've also done is I've gone ahead and connected the alpha to a Fresnel here so if you just right click and type in Fresnel you see you're going to get the node right over here and we can plug this into the alpha and then plug this into the base color and now we have the base of our material I've also uh, gone ahead and applied this to our surface so we can see the results in which we're going to create here. Now, going back to our material, we need to go ahead and uh, enable a few different things here. So let's uh, go ahead and just click in this empty space. We're going to scroll all the way down and we want to go ahead and turn the tessellation on. So we're going to choose PN tessellation and we want to go ahead and enable crack free displacements. And we also need to turn on the distortion. Now, if we click on uh, this, it actually doesn't enable that. What we need to do is go ahead and press the one key and left click. And we can go ahead and just plug this into the reflection. And distortion only works once we have a reflection, but now we have a value plugged in and it's set to zero. You can see that the uh, distortion has been enabled. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, save this. And uh, we can go ahead and save our game. Save all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this material now. So we're gonna scroll all the way over here and we're gonna make an, uh, we're gonna go ahead and create an absolute, um, absolute world position. So we're gonna type in world position and you see we're gonna get this absolute world position. Then we're going to go ahead and press one twice and this is going to allow us to create some values. So I'm going to right click this and convert this to parameter. I'm going to call this big wave one and uh, set this to five. And we're going to go ahead and create convert to parameter and call this big wave two and we're going to go ahead and set the default value of this to 100. Let's just move this back. Now we need to go ahead and multiply these. So let's go ahead and multiply those together. Just like so. Then we want to go ahead and divide this by the absolute world position. So let's right click and go divide and uh, plug this in. Just uh, like that. Now let's go ahead and mask this. So we're going to type in mask and oh, we want this component mask and then we're going to plug this in over here and then we need to go ahead and call our function. So we're going to go ahead and type in function. So function and we're going to get this material call function and in here 
from this drop down we want to go ahead and choose our normal function and uh, once we've done that we can we can go ahead and plug in the different values so you can see here that the reason why I named the renamed the um, functions before was that it's going to appear here as like time texture 2d and texture map so let's go ahead and create a new constant one vector right click and convert this to parameter and we're going to call this big wave and uh let's call this big wave one and we're going to go ahead and set the volume of this to 0 0.1 and uh once we've done that we're going to go ahead and plug this into time we're going to plug the mask into the texture map uh sorry yeah i mean we're going to plug this into time and the mask Yes, uh, yeah, that's all right. And then we need to go ahead and bring in our, our normal map. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the water, the water normal map here. So I've got this one and we're going to go ahead and plug this into the texture 2D. And as you can see, we can't plug that in. That's because we actually need a texture object, sorry texture objects there we go and then we can go ahead and plug this into the texture 2d okay and uh, once we've done that we need to go ahead and copy and paste this we need to make two copies of this okay and we're going to swap this to the smaller normals and we're going to go ahead and rename these so we're going to go ahead and rename this to small Let's do this to all of these now. Yep, and uh, this one. And what we also need to do is we're going to go over to the small water too, and we're actually going to divide this by 1000 instead. Okay. Now we need to go ahead and add these together. Let's put this in over here. And let's uh, go ahead and plug this in over here. Let's just make a little bit more space here. Now we need to plug this into the Fresnel. However, we need to go ahead and add a normalize. We need to normalize that normal map. So add a normalize. And then we can go ahead and plug this into the normal and we can also go ahead and plug this directly into the normal as well just like so now what we also need to do is we need to go ahead and set up the um the specular and roughness so let's go ahead and do that let's create some uh, constants here So I'm going to right click and call this, uh, rename this parameter and call it metallic. And uh, right click, convert to parameter and we'll call this specular. And that's right, let's take this very last one, right click, convert this to parameter and we're going to go ahead and call this roughness. Let's go ahead and plug these in and set the values. So the metallic is going to be 0.8, specular is about 1, and roughness we can say about 0.1. So even though water has no specularity, um, I mean, even though water has no metallic, it's it looks pretty nice when we add that in there. So if we just compile this for now and we go and have a look at what we have, uh, what you'll see is that we have a very basic water shader. Okay, so you can see that this is uh, what we have right now. So let's go ahead and continue building our material. So. Let's go back into the material editor and uh, let's just move these around. 
and uh, let's continue so let's go ahead and add a add node and we're gonna head and right click and type in vector and we want to choose a vector normal let's see let's try it again there it is vector normal ws okay and uh let's go plug this into a so let's go ahead and uh, multiply this and we're going to create another vector here and uh I'm going to call this distance and set this to let's see let's set this to one and we're going to plug this in over here and then we're going to go ahead and append so we're going to append this vector so we can go ahead and plug this in over here and we want to pin that against the constant 2 and we want to go ahead and choose mask again so let's go ahead and find that component mask and uh, let's just go ahead and choose the green channel and unplug this like so and we want to go ahead and plug this into a power and uh, let's go ahead and give this an exponent so again create another constant one vector i'm going to call this Yes, P for exponents and uh, let's give this a value of 2 put this in over here now we need to go ahead and bring in another function so I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to copy this and paste this and this time instead of using the normals we need to go ahead and just use the uh, directions and we're going to put this in over here then we need to go ahead and set up this sort of system again so let's go back down here and uh, from the time let's go ahead and choose multiply and let's go ahead and create a one now constant one vector convert this and call this uh, tessellation wave time just like this and let's go ahead and set this to 0.1 and I'm also going to go ahead and create another constant one I'm also going to set this to 0.1 and we're going to plug these in just like this there we go and now we need to go ahead and uh, set up the rest over here so let's go ahead and do the easiest one first let's go ahead and bring in I'll select our distortion and we're going to go ahead and type in texture object just how we did before and we can go ahead and plug this into the texture 2d there we go nice and simple I'm just going to go ahead and compile and save this as uh, Unreal is prone to crash here so let's go ahead and choose save all there we go and let's build the uh, texture map section so for this all we're going to do is we're going to jump back up here and copy this press ctrl c ctrl v and uh, we're just going to go ahead and rename these and the values so this one is going to be a uh, big wave and we can keep the value as it is and we're going to call this one small wave and let's just change the value here to say 250 and then we can go ahead and plug this in over here and that's that section done let's go ahead and compile and uh, we can go ahead and plug this in and see what this is doing so let's uh, go over here and let's plug this into world displacement and let's go ahead and press 1 and right click and convert this to parameter and call this tessellation we call this tessellation multi for multiplier go ahead and set this to 3 and we're going to go ahead and plug this into the tessellation multiplier over here 
And once that you see that we now have our ocean with these uh, spikes. So let's just go over to our distance and check this. So let's, okay, this should be fine. One, let's have a look. Let's just change this to the box and let's see what's going on here. Okay, so you can see we have the water. So let's go ahead and just compile this and let's just check how this looks on our mesh before we go ahead and make some changes here. So let's uh, drop this down and let's have a look. So, okay, so you can see the jagged edges here and so far it looks pretty good but we need to change the the height here of uh, these waves so let's go ahead and look at how we can do that so let's go ahead and open our material and uh, look at some of these values here so what we can do is let's just go ahead to this big wave and set this to about five and let's see what effect that does here so you can see it looks a little more controlled so let's go ahead and uh save this and let's go and have a look what this does to our ocean here okay so this looks much much more controlled so you can see that our ocean is now flowing and uh, you can see that these are slowly moving and we just need to play around with the time to uh, change that but for now this is a very simple and very basic or well quite quite an intermediate level of uh, detail with an ocean so i'd like to thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you i'll see you next time and uh, don't forget if you like this video please uh, subscribe and like okay Bye-bye.